The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will also be blinded for a time. While he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. A god of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry! The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Damn it! Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. Two dead kings got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other 
drew their bows and stabbed themselves. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. Sir Cadwell, yes indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? Oh dear, oh dear, well that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Follow the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you?
The Prophet's cage should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. Good news is, we made it here in one piece, and the Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. I probably should have mentioned this before, but it never seemed like the right time. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Ball isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. The Prophet chose you for a reason. Get him to safety. I'll be fine. There are magical locking devices on either side of the cage. You need to deactivate both of them so I can begin the transfer. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. the divines you are safe there is that at least there is sacrificed everything that we might go free her sacrifice must not be in vain i wish that were possible but i promise you once we escape cold harbor we will find a way to rescue her together vestige that is the name i have given you you are but a trace of your former self a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it.
souls of the damned are my weapons. You will know eons of suffering. The Dark Angus portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nern in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nern, some linked them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the Sky Shard. Great Akatosh! Dragon God of Time, your children are lost in the fog between worlds. They cry out for mercy. Hear my voice, Akatosh. I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Moloch Baal be denied. Hurry! We must go now! Vestige awakens once again. Come here. We must speak. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city near the sea in a land of eternal spring. The air smells of the ocean and of markets and gardens. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voyage between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. I'm afraid you'll have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris' bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Moloch Ball. 
I cannot foresee that, not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molag Baal looms across all Tamriel, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. You must find your own path, but perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore. Search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. Indeed. I sense that even now there are good people near you who face grave danger. They need your assistance, should you be willing to give it. To thwart the will of Molag Ball, we must skirmish with evil wherever it rears its head. We do not face these troubled times alone. Many shall rise up to fight this tide of darkness. Wherever you go, you will encounter others who share your courage and valor. Help them if you can, and enlist their aid if you have need of it. You were dragged ashore on an island beach, but I sense that you are now aboard a ship in port. Go ashore and seek out the captain of the vessel. Perhaps he or she could point you toward the charitable spirit who was responsible for your rescue. Have you ever tasted moon sugar rum? This one's not sharing. Water looks different in every harbor. Love the shallows here. The sea has been kind to this one. I was worried you'd never wake up. You slept all the way from Canarsi's roost, right through the hurricane. You don't remember? A Khajiit named Razumdar fished you out of the ocean. He made me pay a small fortune to bring you here. We barely made it out of Canarsi's roost before the hurricane hit. He was headed to Eagle's Strand, an old fort on Canarsi's roost. My ship won't return there for some time, but a bosun on the far dock can take you. Look for sugar claws.
what is it? Is this about the fish? I took what I paid for. Um, never mind. What do you want? Good. I have business on Canarthi's roost. Passage is free. The inspectors won't be looking for two of us. Uh, whenever you're ready. Shalar will attend you in a moment. You there, wet one. This one needs to speak to you. We need your face to become familiar, so your presence won't be questioned. Come, stay by my side. This one saw you fall from thin air. Pop, drop, splash. Roz would have tried for a backflip, but under the circumstances, this one is most impressed. Razumdar is here on a mission of some... Uh, delicacy. This one did not know how your presence here would change it, but honestly, Raz is glad you returned. You may be just what he needs. First, a question. Where did you come from? If you landed five paces north, you'd have squashed a rat, slipped on its guts, and cracked your head on a signal drum. The whole island would have known of your arrival. So where did you come from, truly? A Daedric prince, you say? Raz has a nose for lies, but you seem clean as an ocean breeze. Hmm. If anyone else asks you, where will you say you came from? Yes, lie with confidence. A straight face and a gleam in your eye. Well done. It is very good right now to fit in. Your sudden arrival, it does not fit in, you understand? You should not. You should trust your instincts. Live if you wish. No one will stop you. Or, come with Raz and do what you can to help us recover. In the process, grow your stature and wealth. It is entirely up to you. Because you are no soldier, which is useful. You can speak with the locals, assure them we are not invaders or marauders. Now come, let us try to fit in. We don't like strangers here. Commander Karen, the moment? This recruit survived the shipwreck without injuries. You mentioned something about the shattered shoals, yes? Glad you're up and about, recruit. I'm in need of a scout to head to Shattered Shoals. Most of our fleet foundered to the west, but we've had a few survivors trickle in from that direction. We captured a sea viper spying on the camp. Those pirates never travel alone. Find out if they're around Shattered Shoals, and if so, what they're doing on this island. Of course, you should assist any shipwreck survivors you find. We must each do our part. 
Before you head to Shattered Shoals, speak with Eelsil. He just returned from exploring a nearby temple. That wizard claims to know something about everything, so he may have insight on how these sea vipers operate. Eelsil is this way. Ilsi, this recruit wishes Great. to speak with you. Marvelous, isn't it? We'll have to construct a special room for the Morning Stone when we bring it back to the Mage's Guild. I'm sorry, did do you need something? Yes, the Temple of the Morning Springs is an old Khajiit ruin not far from here. We excavated the Morning Stone from one of the chambers. As you can see, its supply of water appears endless. What do you mean? Pirates? In an ancient Khajiit temple? Preposterous! All we saw were the undead warriors that overran our camp. I have no idea. Actually, I have twelve ideas, but they're far less fascinating than the Morning Stone. Probably some sort of ancient curse. It usually is with these things. Arrogant sea elf pirates. To my recollection, they aren't known to raid Kanathi's roost. Oh, and they have a thing for snakes. But I'm sure we both have more important matters to attend. Uh, if you'd excuse me. We should speak privately before you depart. Let's meet by the start. There, you see? You fit in and no one will stop you from walking away. But, as this one said, there are opportunities here for people that fall from the sky. Ilsil is most impressed with his newest bubble. But the undead are a threat to all of Canarthi's roost. If you want to, you could search the Temple of the Morning Springs, determine how to contain the dead there. Then the locals should see we came here as allies, not conquerors. Karanith told you how the hurricane dashed the fleet into Canarthi's roost. Now the sea vipers are picking at the bones of our ships. Strange, yes? You could scout the coast, as the commander said. Prove yourself to the soldiers. Oh, there's far less glamorous work to be done in Mistral, at the northern end of the island. Let's meet up there, after you've done what you decide to do. Until then, bright moons guide your steps.
anybody help me? I can't feel my limbs. What a love of, please help me. My heart is heavy. Such pain. I have little time for talk. Yeah? Need something to wash that salt out of your throat? Am I right? It's a wonder anyone survived. Did 
you see the wreck? Hail. Do not fear. This one won't jump. But the thought has a chord. So much to do, so little time. Greetings. What do you want?
greetings. The world grows dark. My shipmates are gone. Guess they're rebuilding the ship now. Nazamar prepared for such an event, but there are more injuries than expected. Sleep is best for them now. You're looking much better than last night. to do so little time. Unless you're in serious pain, I can't help you right now. I have too many patients to attend. Watch yourself. Don't give us any trouble. Why must I suffer so? Another distraction. <laughs> 